Hey YouTube, I've been having some problems with recording 1080p 60 frames per second video <clears throat> on my action camera. I have a Soku C30 action camera and I've been using this Micro Center 32 gigabyte SD card here, this class 10 SD card. Um, and it was working fine when I was recording in 30 frames per second. But as soon as I upped it to 60 frames per second, I started getting jerky motion in the video. And I think it's because of the SD card. Actually, I know it's because of the SD card. Because I then tried using this Samsung Evo 16 gigabyte SD card that I have here. <clears throat> it's a UHS-1 card. And you can see that this card's significantly faster than the 32 gigabyte card that I was using in the camera. So um, this 32 gigabyte card w is actually pretty good. I mean, it's a, it's a class 10 card. It's uh, the speeds are what you would expect of a class 10 card. It's just not fast enough for doing 60 frames per second on a 1080 video. And then the 16 gigabyte card here that I had, this Samsung Evo, was just too small. There's just not enough space here to record enough video. So I decided to buy this Samsung Evo Select 64 gigabyte card. It's a UHS-3 card, <clears throat> and here are the test results for the card. So you can see it's significantly faster than the Micro Center card, uh, and a little bit faster than the Samsung Evo 16 gigabyte card, but it's nowhere as fast as what everybody online says it should be. Um, so actually down here I have, this is, the, this is the actual card I bought from Amazon. It's a great price, it's $23 for a 64 gigabyte card. And it's supposed to have up to 100 megabytes per second on the speed. Actually, if I scroll down here, well, it should say, yeah, so here's the 64 gigabyte card. And it should be read speeds up to 100 megabits per second and write speeds up to 60 megabit, megabits per second. Um, I'm only on the testing, I'm only getting 66 megabits per second in the read speed and 20 on the write speed. Um, that's signif significantly lower than what they advertise the card at, and it's actually significantly lower than what are the people, other people online have been getting. <coughs> For example, if I come down here, this guy, um, he's getting, if we open this up, he's getting 93 megabits per second on the, on the read and 66 on the right. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if I just got a dud or what the problem is. Uh, let's see if there's somebody else here. Yeah, so this guy's getting 93 on the read and 80 on the right. So, and I'm only getting 66 on the read and 20 on the right on the Samsung Evo Select 64 gigabyte card. Uh, so I think um, I had really high hopes for this card, but I think I'm going to return it to Amazon or see if they can send me a... Uh, a new one and maybe I just got a, a dud and I already checked to see if it was counterfeit you know on the Samsung cards you can check to see if they're counterfeit by looking at the sides if the sides of the SD card are white then it's it's not counterfeited if it's a black or gray color then more than likely it's a counterfeited Samsung card <clears throat> you're probably wondering in this uh, on the, the test over here what this 128 megabit card is here 128 gigabyte card. This is uh, the card that I've been using in my cell phone. It's a Micro Center card also. It's a class 10 and as you expect it's it's the same sort of speeds as the 32 gigabyte class 10. Both really good cards. I, I paid like $6.99 for the 32 gigabyte card for Micro Center and I think $9.99 for the 128 gigabyte card for Micro Center. So these are great values. They're just not very good for doing anything beyond 1080p at 30 frames per second. And then this this uh, 16 gigabyte card that I had here, like I said, worked okay for 60 frames per second, but it was just too, too small. And I'm sure this 64 gigabyte card would probably work fine for 60 frames per second, but I feel like I should at least get close to the advertised speeds and I'm not getting close to the advertised speeds. So I'm gonna go ahead and return this one. Um, I hope this video helps anybody that's looking at SD cards and trying to figure out what to get. Um, if you've got a GoPro, Hero 4 or any of the new GoPro cameras, you don't want to use any of these cards here because there, none of them are going to be fast enough for that for that camera. And none of these are going to be fast enough for really for 2K or for 4K video. Thanks for looking. Bye.